Hi, this is Sufyan from Vista Solutions and today we will be having a demo of purchase flow in open ERP. So this is the open ERP screen. I will log in as admin where the default password is admin. So here you can see different modules available with us that is sales, purchase, warehouse, etc. So to create a purchase order, I will go into purchase, purchase management and I will go for purchase order. So here I can see different uh, previous purchases which I did and uh, to create a new purchase order, I will click new. So I will put this supplier from which supplier I would like to have this purchase. So I will just type few words of my supplier and tap this. So automatically all the information will be fetched up by OpenERP. So I have just su selected the supplier now and I will go to the select the purchase order line so I will just click here and I will put all the items which I need to purchase so I will put the product and I will tap this So all the products related to Antex will come here and from here I can select the product so I will click on to Antex black and I will click OK here. So I can put the quantity how much quantity I require so I will say 15 and uh, I will say what is the unit price so I can decide about the unit price also so say for example 20 is the unit price and if I want to add some taxes I can add those taxes apart from that if I want to put a new product into this line I can click on save and new or I can save and close if I don't want to put any further product so I will click on save and new to add another product in this product line and now again I will type Antex and I will just tab here so as soon as I tab all the products related to Antex will come again and I will select here Antex lemon and here you can see the quantity of Antex black is uh, 9.26 and 3 the real stock I will click OK here and uh, I will so I will just put the quantity here which would be 8 and uh, the unit price would be 15 and I will save and close this record. So if you see I have uh, entered two products and this the state of these two products are in request for quotation. So from here I will just convert this into a purchase order and as soon as I convert this into a purchase order the state will change automatically. So here the state is now approved. Now I will go into the menu. I will go into the warehouse. The warehouse management and I will just see what are my incoming shipments so these are the uh, previous purchases I did I will just go into purchase order again so this is my order reference number which is PO not 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 16 I will go into incoming shipment and here I can see the uh, products which I ordered I will click on to this and from here the warehouse manager who is looking onto this uh, product he can again take further actions 
so from here i can uh, the warehouse manager can see these two products will be coming and uh, he will just put the same into the process and uh, again he can see the quantity and the unit of measure and then he can validate this purchase so now the uh, order is validated i will go into the menu i will go into warehouse to see my uh, stock or inventory we'll go into products click on products here so from here i can see different kind of uh, products i will go into the category of this and the person who actually created this uh, purchase order he can click on to the category and the category was for uh, raw material and i will find this so as soon as i uh, click on find i can see here so here you can see after the validation the two products which i ordered is now increased by 24 and 20, uh, 11 so this is this was with respect to the purchase order thank you for watching this video for more information you can go on to our website www.pistasolutions.com thank you